Wait. I'm trying to figure out what you're doing, weirdo. I don't know. Good morning, guys. Uh. We've been up since 4.30. Huh, Philly? Yeah, she's not having it. She's like, all right, peace. I'm going back to sleep. Ow, stop. There. Ow! <laughs> it's too early. Stop it. We are up before the sun is even up. Uh, um, so, I have an update for you guys. So you know how I was trying to find a name and I just struggled and struggled. I texted my biological mother, who's like the best mom on the face of the earth. Um, and I asked her to name me because... Well, she never got the chance to actually name me. Um, so she named me uh, Lucius, Lo uh, Lucius Thomas Lowell. Um, and Thomas Lowell is, was my papa. Uh, my papa died a while back, but uh, I'm glad and proud to have carry the family name into my family um, and it means a lot to me um, and so I'm really just grateful that I have such an awesome amazing mother um, so I was adopted at birth and she had named me um, and I'm trying to remember what she named me uh, I can't remember right now, but that's okay. Um, and then 10 days later, my adopted family changed my name to, uh, what my dead name was. And so she got that taken away from her and I, I, I feel like it, 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 it was important for both of us me to have her name me and her to have the um, tr chance to finally name her child and so it meant a lot to both of us and um, when I told her you know at first I was just looking for suggestions and I texted her I was like what would you name me if you could and then after she said Lucius Thomas Lowell I told her, well, you just named me, so thanks, Mom. <laughs> I think I made her, uh, not only her day, I think I made her year uh, being able to uh, name her son. So that was really, really cool. And um, I'm really grateful to have such an amazing mother. Um, yeah, I wanted to share that, um, but, uh, 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 um, but other than that, we are just chilling. I'm playing Roblox, because I'm still waking up. I, I mean, it's 6.12, I've been up since 4.30, and I'm still waking up. I'm, it's too early for this. <laughs> um... I went to bed at like 8.30 last night. I was falling asleep and finally Dakota was like, hey, you know, we should just go to bed if you can't even stay up right now. And I'm like, you know what, you're probably right. Yeah. So we ended up going to bed at 8.30. The second I laid my head down on my pillow, I passed out. I was out. So... Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, you know, I think, what is it, next week is Thanksgiving. It's coming up super quick. Um, and actually, I have more news. So, um, for those who don't know, 
Uh, I know for or for those who know me, I was not considering body surgery. Um, but actually, January sixth. I have an appointment with my endocrinologist and he's going to be writing a letter of approval, hopefully, for a metoidioplasty. Um, and if you don't know what that is, you can always look it up. Um, but that's the one I'm going to be doing. It's less invasive um, and there's a lot less risks with it. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. Uh, it just, honestly, my insurance pays for it fully too. Um, so instead of trying to save money up for a uh, prosthetic, uh, I'm going to have something like permanent, which in the long run is going to be amazing. Um, not only for my euphoria, but just in general, um, financially and all that. So um, I'm really looking forward to having that done. It's going to be one of those things that uh, it, it, it was a long time coming, honestly. Um, the only downside is I will have to stay in the hospital anywhere between one to three nights um, just to make sure that things are as they should be um, and that there's no complications um, and that way if there is a chance of a hematoma which I know there's that risk uh, I'll be overnight there so they'll be able to take care of it right then and there they won't have to um, have me come back to the hospital which is nice um, and let's see what else I'm trying to think of anything else um, oh jeez one more back up Back up, you're squishing me. She looks so offended. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, no, so the metoidioplasty is the one I'm going to be doing. Um, like I said, I'll be... Uh, I'll be staying in the hospital anywhere between one to three nights. Um, just to make sure that everything is going as planned. Um and that I'm doing okay. But yeah, no, it just in the long run, it makes more sense to do the metoidioplasty. Um, and then three to six months later, after, after I'm healed, after phase one, I'm gonna get uh, testicular implants. And um, they're basically like silicone, I think. Or, or whatever they do, whatever they use, uh, and it just completes the entire thing. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to this uh, phase of my transition, if you will, and it's really exciting um, because this is something I've been wanting to do for like the longest time, and now that it's like slowly starting to happen I'm like getting excited and like I don't know I'm just really looking forward to it like really really looking forward to it and I just I can't wait like I I know it's there's a chance something could go wrong that's with any surgery honestly I, I knew when I had my top surgery that there was a risk of something going wrong what happened i had a hematoma what did i do i dealt with it as or i dealt with it accordingly and did what i had to do i buckled down and dealt with it so i mean you just it sometimes in order to be comfortable in your own skin it's worth taking the risk of things going wrong 
because depending on what that risk is, you can definitely work around it. And as long as you're comfortable in your own skin, that's all that matters, honestly. So, yeah. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> but, yeah, no, um, I'm going to chill for a little bit, and I will see you guys in a few. Hey, guys. So, never mind. Apparently, he's going to go pick it up on Wednesday for me after, uh, after whatever he's doing. So, yeah. Uh, if I look really tired, it's because I am. <sighs> he had like two days off, and so those two days, or let's see, Friday night and Saturday night, he stayed up kind of late. Um, but last night I fell asleep at like eight thirty. I was. I was so tired. I was like, you know what? I'm going to bed. Um, <laughs> so I was up um, 4.30 or a little bit after 4.30. Um, I feel a little accomplished. I washed the shower like I said I was going to. Um, but... I didn't do the dishes. I've just been exhausted. Um, and right now I'm also dealing with um, with uh, drug cravings. Like um, nothing hardcore, just like uh, edibles I really, really want. And I know I can't have them. So I'm just trying to stay positive. Keep my mind busy, play video games, talk to friends, family, whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Uh, we're going to go to his parents for the day. Uh, during Thanksgiving, we will be back the same evening, no, evening or night. Um, we just think it's best for everybody involved if... All of us kind of just go back to our normal lives, you know. I, we sometimes we stay out there, but it's just too much for me, just in general. Um, like I love his family, I do. Um, his parents have treated me like their own child, which I absolutely am so thankful for. Uh, but it's just uh, there's a lot, like. You know they're 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 amazing people, but they are a lot at times. So, um, yeah. So and plus, I like being in my own space. You know, my bed, my TV, my squishmallows, and my blanket, my laptop, my Xbox, my Switch, my Wii. You know, I like having all these with me you know so yeah uh, it, it's a me thing that's really all it is it, it's a, it's not them it's me i have to admit that um i might take some videos of thanksgiving next week comment down below if you want me to and i will do so um please check out my link tree that has my Amazon wish lists. Um, I'm gonna put a Christmas wish list on there if that's something you guys um, want to do and send me things uh, prior to Christmas. So it is in my link tree. Um, also, check out my other wish lists. One is for my computer setup, and one is just random things that I can test on here. For you guys, I can test them and review them and do some really fun and cool things. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate you guys uh, and thank you for watching. I love you guys. Remember, you guys are amazing. Keep smiling, keep your head up, and as always, you guys are beautiful. I will see you guys later. Bye!